The government has appointed the first Minister for Loneliness to continue work started by the late MP Joe Cox. Ms Cox set up the Commission on Loneliness before she was murdered by a right-wing extremist in her constituency in 2016. The MP Tracy Crouch took up the new portfolio today, promising to tackle an issue which affects around 9 million people in the UK. Rebecca Williams reports. Loneliness affects millions of people in Britain. People like Beryl, who's in her 80s and has lived alone since her partner died two years ago. I used to be able to go walk around and visit somebody. Um, some of my friends have passed away, some have moved away. And um, it's just, you know, stuck here mostly, on, you know, apart from hospital appointments, as I said, and the one monthly outing. It's, um, yeah, it does get quite lonely. The government has today held a meeting with the family of former MP Joe Cox, who was murdered in 2016. As part of her legacy, there'll now be a minister overseeing loneliness, a subject that was close to Joe's heart. It's fantastic uh, and it's extremely emotional, if I'm honest, um, to see something that Jo had, had started um, before she was killed um, that's then been picked up um, across the political spectrum and, and, and to end up here in, in Downing Street with, with the Prime Minister speaking about, about loneliness is um, it's extremely heartwarming. Just over one in ten people aged 65 or over say they feel lonely often or all of the time. Contrary to people's perception, more than a third of 16 to 24-year-olds said they did. And just over two in ten of those aged between 25 and 49 felt lonely often or all of the time. Happy birthday! <laughs> jo Love falls into that last category. She struggled desperately with loneliness after having her daughter, Bella. Nobody prepares you for how lonely and isolating motherhood is. Just sitting in a dark room and just desperately wanting my husband to come home at the end of the day and counting the hours, counting the minutes and getting more and more stressed if he was late or those minutes were ticking by and the anxiety, I'd feel the anxiety rising. But you really do feel that you're on your own. Loneliness could affect anyone, whether you're young, you're old, you live in a big city or a more rural community like this one. In recent years, there have been a lot of local authority cuts. That means libraries are shut, as of day centres. And many people feel that hasn't helped the problem. Loneliness can be debilitating, but it's hoped making it a government priority will address the issues that so many, like Beryl, seem to experience. Rebecca Williams, Sky News.